Today's episode five of my regular feature where I share with you my latest purchases from the perfume parlor. I've got a six bottle clone fragrance hauls to go with you all today and these ones are the extract sprays. So let's find out what's good and what's not so good out of this little lot. Welcome to Mags Frags. <laughs> Yes, hello again everybody and thank you very much once again for tuning in to this special Perfume Parlor episode of Mags Frags. I'm Paul and this is the fifth episode of my new weekly series that focuses on my latest purchases from the Perfume Parlor. So today I'm going to be going through, all these are going to be extract sprays, uh, apart from one which is just a bonus one that I got in this haul so I will be letting you know about this one also. Um, I did actually receive uh, five 15ml bottles, I did order 30ml bottles but I've been in touch with the perfume parlour and they, uh, they're going to sort it out and send me uh, some more 15ml to compensate for what I've been missing so very good customer service, um, got back to me straight away. But before I begin the rundown, if you're interested in picking up any of these bottles to try out for yourself, uh, you can use my uh, unique discount code. Uh, you get 10% off your first order, which I'll leave a link to down in the description. The link will direct you to the login page and you'll be asked to create a login name and password. But once you've logged into the site and you've made all your purchases, your, your discount code will automatically be applied at the checkout. And as always guys, just the boring quick disclaimer as I say on every one of these videos, I don't work for the perfume parlour and this video is in no way sponsored by them and they don't pay me anything to produce these videos and all the opinions that you're going to hear today are my own opinions and I did buy all these fragrances with my own money. I do however receive a, a small kickback for uh, recommending you just to, to go to their site and to, uh, to join the site uh, but by clicking on my link you will save the 10% and also you'll be helping the channel to bring you some more free content in the future. Yes, yeah, so first up is one called Paradise Reflection and the perfume parlor code on this one is 1517. Yeah, this one is a copy of Killian's Moonlight in Heaven, which is a unisex fragrance that came out in 2016, and it's the one that comes in the really attractive deep blue bottle. The top notes in this one are pink pepper, lemon and grapefruit. In the mid, we've got mango, rice and coconut. And in the base, there's vetiver and tonka bean. So I received a, a sample of this when I bought a, a bottle of Black Phantom recently and I absolutely loved it and it's one that I'll definitely be picking up a, a full bottle of before the summertime starts. It opens up bright with fresh citruses and some fruity sweetness from the mango and has a lovely clean and uplifting character with like a tropical vibe. I don't get any anything in the way of the coconut that's listed in the note breakdown and I have no idea why rice is listed in the notes because I didn't even think that rice produced an aroma uh, but for me it's the mango that stands out the most in this one and everything else just seems to centre around that note of mango. It's a unique take on a spring and summer fragrance because instead of being eye-wateringly zesty or packed with aquatic notes, this one smells very calm and relaxing and it's one that would be great to wear in the evenings when you're on a, like an exotic beach holiday. It's fairly linear and it stays much the same into the dry down uh, but it does become more powdery with a touch, a touch more sweetness as it starts to settle down. The Perfume Parlour version is not uh, as nice as the original in, in the opening and it's a little bit more synthetic smelling uh, but give it 10 minutes or so and you'll get a 90% copy of the original uh, but I would still say that the original is slightly smoother blended than this but even though it's, this is still a really really nice smelling fragrance. Yeah next up we've got one called Immortal for Men and the Perfume Parlour code on this one is 1871. So this is a copy of Elysium by Roja Dove. The top notes in this are grapefruit, lime, lavender, thyme, artemisia, musk, lemon and bergamot. In the mid there's jasmine, lily of the valley, apple, blackcurrant and rose. And in the base there's vetiver, galbanum, cypriol, cedarwood, pink pepper, juniper berry, benzoin, leather, vanilla, labdanum, ambergris and musk. 
Lots of notes, lots of notes. <laughs> uh, the original Elysium is uh, a very likeable and mass appealing fresh fragrance that smells more like a good quality designer blue fragrance rather than a niche scent. It has a fresh citrusy opening with the grapefruit, the lime and the bergamot really sparkling in it and it tingles the inside your nostrils and sometimes the initial blast can make me sneeze. It's so zesty and effervescent and the opening 10 minutes of the scent is very dynamic. But as it dries down you do get like a tiny hint of green pine or like a cypress tree accord and maybe some wild fruits but it al always remains bright and I don't get any of that leather, the musk or the ambergris that's listed in the base. Uh, it's going to draw comparisons to the likes of Bleu de Chanel or even Creed Aventus although to my nose it, it kind of leans more towards that Bleu de Chanel side. However, it does have its own identity, uh, but it's nothing groundbreaking and for £225 a bottle, I'd say it's way overpriced for what it is uh, and I would never recommend the original at that price. This perfume parlour copy, however, at £14 for a 30ml bottle or a £22 for a, a 30ml extract spray is a, is a different story and it's a no-brainer blind buy because it is a, a really perfect copy and at less than 10 times the uh, price of the original. This one is a very uncomplicated casual fragrance for the summer months which is super fresh and clean. The performance on the original and on this copy is, is not great and after 3 or 4 hours it's pretty much gone uh, but with all that said uh, I'd, say it's, I'd say it's still worth picking up and trying out for yourself and it's probably uh, a 7 or an 8 out of 10 fragrance. Okay so the third one that I'm going to talk about today is called Verdant and the perfume parlor code on this one is 0533. This one is a clone of Greenly from Parfums de Marley. The top notes in this one are green apple, uh, bergamot and mandarin orange. In the mid we've got cashmere, pettigrain, pomerose, uh, cedar and violet. And in the base there's oak moss, musk and amberwood. This one is the most accurate copy on this list and there is literally not a single difference between this one and the original right from the initial spray uh, right the way through into the far dry down. If you enjoy your fresh green fragrances then this is definitely a must. It opens up with a tart green apple, we've got juicy mandarin and uh, a zingy bergamot and, it inst and instantly you can almost smell the summertime coming from the bottle. It's fresh and invigorating and it's one of them fragrances that can just lift your spirits and lift your mood and feel, make you feel really upbeat as soon as you spray it. The orange and the amber wood give it a subtle sweetness, uh, the cedar adds some smooth woody masculinity and it's just a blend of all the notes together that give this one a green and breezy outdoorsy feel just like walking through a pine forest on a sunny day. To me this is a more modern green Irish tweed that has more of an interesting scent DNA so if you are looking for an upgrade from your creed that you've been wearing now for a few years then this could be your answer. If you do like your uh, greener smelling fragrances then this one's a, a definitely must try. Uh, it's got great performance, it lasts 7-8 to eight hours on skin and uh, great value for money. Okay next up we have got one called Peace for Men. And the perfume palette code on this one is 0970. And this one is a copy of Clive Christian's number one. And it's the masculine version. They do a masculine and a feminine version. The top notes in this one are nutmeg, cardamom, grapefruit, mandarin orange, lime, artemisia, caraway and paprika. In the mid we've got ylang ylang, uh, iris, jasmine, rose, lily of the valley and heliotrope. And in the base there's tonka bean, vanilla and vetiver. Yes, yeah, so wherever there's sunshine there has to be some shade and after three great summer scents uh, we now have this one. And unfortunately I've unearthed uh, another Frankenstein's monster here and I really don't enjoy how this one smells. It opens up with uh, the biggest blast of soapy florals and at first I thought the perfume parlor had sent me the feminine version rather than the masculine one. It's like a, a really intense talcum powder or baby powder at the beginning which probably doesn't sound too bad uh, but it's when you realise what's going to come next uh, is where the problem begins. 
it's like uh, staring at one of those optical illusion pictures where everything is abstract uh, but after you've stared at it for a while uh, and you slightly squint at it the picture just comes to life and you see a 3d image uh, and then every time you look at it then after that one you no longer see the abstract at all well that's kind of what happened to me here and I was concentrating on the overwhelming powdery florals in the opening which don't smell too bad but then I, uh, I missed the dreaded animalic stale urine that was lurking in the background uh, and, and it was just about to come through and just punch me in the nostrils and rupture my septum it was horrible um, I can describe the overall smell of this fragrance with total perfection if you can just bear with me this, with this one because it, 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 this is just how it smells it's like when uh, when a kid has wet the bed during the night and by the morning time it's dried out and it really stinks badly then instead of changing the sheets the parents have just tried to mask the stench by pouring half a bottle of baby powder over the top of it just in the hope that the stench will go away but in reality it just never does and it just gets worse and worse this is exactly what i get with this and now even when i smell it oh, i mean it, even when i smell the atomizer all i get is just like a, a dreadful stale urine mixed with baby powder and if that's not bad enough the original of this is going to set you back 550 quid a bottle bargain I'll, I'll, I'll take two please um, I would actually recommend that you actually buy a sample of this from the perfume parlor just a very small one for a few quid just so that you can see where I'm coming from with this one go on I dare you you know you want to yeah, so after that monstrous last one, I now need a good one to, uh, to talk about just to recover from it. Uh, and I'm pleased to say uh, that this next one is actually my favourite in this particular haul. It goes by the name of Dutch City. And the perfume parlour code on this one is 0680. This one is a copy of New Harlem by Bond Number no. 9. And the top notes in this one are lavender, bergamot and green leaves. In the mid, we've got coffee and cedar. And in the base, there's amber, vanilla, tonka bean, and patchouli. Yeah, this one produces a gorgeous aroma right from the first spray with the fresh lavender and the coffee bean, the most prominent notes. It's nice and bright with an airy, outdoorsy, uh, daytime feel to it. And it reminds me of having a, a morning coffee sat outside in the garden during the springtime. It smells fairly similar to these two. We've got Rochas Man, if you've ever tried that one, uh, and also Halloween X. Uh, that one's really difficult to get older now. But I'd say that this one's slightly better quality. So if you've ever tried any of those two, uh, you'll, you're kind of in a similar ballpark to how this one smells. As it dries down, it does sweeten up uh, quite a bit. And as the lavender fades, you get more of the vanilla and it becomes more of a, a gourmand coffee fragrance and you get a creamy latte type coffee accord. It's a really pleasant smell from start to finish. And this perfume parlor copy is also the longest lasting one out of these on today's haul. Uh, and it was still going strong after all the other ones had, had all but faded away. And finally, this one isn't an extract spray, uh, but I bought it in this haul, so I thought I'd uh, include it as a, a cheeky little bonus. It's called Good Plan, and the perfume palette card on this one is 0296. This one is a copy of Cruel Intentions by Killian, and the top notes in this are violet, rose, bergamot, and African orange flower. In the mid, there's papyrus, agar wood, and guaiac wood. And in the base, there's castorium, vanilla, styrax, sandalwood, musk, and vetiver. Yeah, this one uh, should have featured in, in my last perfume parlor haul video uh, because the original has now been discontinued. It's mainly a woody and an earthy fragrance with some light florals uh, and a touch of musk. It's described as being unisex, but to me, I think it leans uh, way more masculine than it does feminine. From the opening spray, I get a strong oud accord, uh, but it quickly settles down, and then I can pick up on the florals, but not in a way that uh, I can isolate any of them, and they don't come off smelling feminine. The papyrus and the bergamot provide some freshness, and the vanilla brings a touch of sweetness. 
There's a, a note called uh, a note in here called Castorium, which is a, an animalic note. And I, when I saw that one, I had a little shiver and I thought, oh my god, here we go again. Uh, but I am pleased to say that I don't smell anything nasty or funky in this whatsoever. However, there's nothing to get overly excited about in here either, and in my opinion, uh, it doesn't come close to some of the other Killian fragrances like your likes of Black Phantom, uh, Intoxicated, or Angel's Share. But it's one that uh, I would recommend you pick up and try for yourself because it's uh, it's not a bad fragrance. It's just not as good as some of the others in the line. Yeah, so in summary, I'd say that the new Harlem copy and the Greenly copy are my favourites out of these six. The Moonlight in Heaven and Elysium copies are really good and well worth picking up. The Cruel Intentions copy is nice but just a little bit underwhelming and for, as for the uh, the Clive Christian, uh, I'd just say pick a copy up and give yourself uh, a good 20 sprays of that one, I dare you, uh, and just let me know down in the comments uh, what reaction you get to it. So, but yeah all fun stuff so that's about it for today's episode uh, but i'll be uh, i'll be back very soon with another perfume parlor haul and next time all of the fragrances will be copies from the same house so don't forget to look out for that one and also coming up over the next five days i've got some great reviews in the 365 project including a couple of brand new exclusive releases uh, that are hot off the press so it's a very exciting week and every day features an absolute bang uh, so make sure to tune in every evening this week at 7 p.m so as always guys thank you very much for watching and uh, stay safe as always keep smelling fresh and i'll see you very soon for another one bye bye for now